All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Coming back with another video, giving all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, which the world calls God and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ, Shalom, Shalom. And this topic is going to be on women cannot wear pants, right? That's the discussion in Israel, right? Brothers think that uh, women could wear pants, and then women think that they could wear pants. Right, so this is for you women that's not in the truth, and you women that's uh, trying to be in the truth, or you women that's in the truth. Right, you cannot wear pants as a female. That is going off. Right, now this is Deuteronomy 22 and verse five. This is not going to be a long video at all. This is not. This is you don't. This is not really up for debate. It's it's not up for debate at all. It's obvious you can't wear pants. Deuteronomy 22 and five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord said, a man can't put on a woman's garment, and a woman can't put on a man's garment. Right? Now, women think, oh, it's not talking about um, pants and da-da-da. Pants are clearly made for men. The design of it is made for men. Women even say, you know, when you put on a, a dress... It feels more comfortable and the pants is like tight, you know, certain things can't breathe. Pants are not made for women. That's made for men, right? The whole design of it is made for men. And dresses are made, and dresses, Slaki, are made for women, right? Let's go to Exodus. All right, let's see if there's pants in the Bible, right? Let's see. Now, this is Exodus 28 and verse 42. And remember, it says a man can't put on a woman's garment. Right now, this is Aaron. So this is Deuteronomy, it's like it, Exodus 28 and 42. And it says, and thou shalt make them linen breeches, right? And it's talking about Aaron and his sons, right? Linen breeches. Now, when you look up breeches, breeches are pants. Breeches, breeches, B-R-E-E-C-H-E-S, breeches, that's literally pants, Right, and it says, and thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place. That they bear not iniquity and die, it shall be a statue forever unto him and his seed after him. Right? So breeches are pants. They're a special type of pants, but nonetheless, they're pants. Right? And these are men. Aaron is a man. His sons are men. Right? Aaron was a priest. So was his sons. So is Aaron going off when he's wearing these pants? When he's wearing these breeches? It's a straightforward commandment that um, Aaron and his sons wear these, uh, these type of pants, these breeches. Right? So if men are wearing breeches... That means woman cannot wear breeches. Because we just read in Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. And breeches pertain unto men because Aaron wore pants, pants like it, and, the, and his priests, right? His sons, the priests, right? They wore pants. They wore breeches. So with a process of elimination, woman cannot wear pants. Because Aaron wore pants in the scriptures, the holy scriptures, and it says, Woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, and breeches pertain unto a man, so woman cannot wear pants. As simple as that. Right? This is not a discussion. This is not a debate. It's straightforward, a commandment. Woman cannot wear pants. Let's go to 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Slock it. Bear with me. Right? This is the book of 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9. Right, it, it shouldn't even. It's not that. It's not that deep, you know. But if it's really a stumbling block, you know, most how willing you come across this video. And there's other brothers that did video on, on pants. You can't wear pants, right? So First Timothy two and nine, and like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now, when you look up modest apparel, the only thing you're gonna see is dresses, literally dresses, right? And then there was a picture, and it said. Um, 2017 modest apparel, and then it showed uh, woman in pants, right? Cause that's 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 the and it was it was a joke though. It was like a meme, right? It's a joke because this is the new modest for women pants, but that's not modest according to the Most High. When you put on pants, 
Whereas right? a woman, you show your whole sculpture. You see everything, which you, you see what you look like. We see what you look like. You think the Most High wants that for a woman? You think the Most High wants you to be walking down in the damn pants and men can just look at you and see everything you got going on? That's not how the Most High works. You have to wear modest apparel, which will be dresses. And you got to wear not no tight dress that's showing your body still. You got to wear them dresses that's loose and big type. Not big, but, you know, it fit the right way and you're not seeing your body, man. You shouldn't be able to see your, what your body look like in a dress, right? Whatever you're wearing, you should not be able to see the shape of your body, right? So it says, in like manner, also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, right? And that's all I'm going to read on that, right? Because that's all that I want. Right, so it's, it's straight up, you cannot wear pants as a woman, man. And some of you are going to still be rebellious, and that's really, that's on you. The precepts, the Lord has spoken, and that's just on you. Right, uh, let me get another precept before I go to this. Right, so this is the book of Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10 and 7. And it says... Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. Right? So this book is written in the volume of Yahweh Shaki. Yahweh Shai is written in the volume of the book. So everything we read in is of the Mosai. So ultimately, if you're going to forsake the scriptures and still wear pants anyway, you're rebelling against the Most High, and the Lord's going to put you to death. Right? He's going to make a speedy riddance of you. Right? Now, this is... Um, what was I going to slack it? 2 Timothy 4, 4 and verse, I'll start at 3. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, right? So as a woman, if you think that you can wear pants, you are you're turned into a fable. That's a fable because when you go into the scriptures, it's clear as day that you cannot wear pants. It's not hard. Don't need a 20-minute breakdown. This video not even going to be 10 minutes, right? Most high women, right? Um, there was one more thing I want to... Oh, come on. All right, let's go to 1 Thessalonians. Bear with me, Israel. So this is the book of First Thessalonians, two and verse twelve. Second Thessalonians, two and verse twelve, and it says that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So if you have um, if you have pleasure in unrighteousness and you don't believe in this truth. The most high say you're damned. Let them all be might they it's like I'll read it again. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And if you're a woman in this truth and you wearing pants still, that's you having pleasure in unrighteousness. That's you heaping to yourself as your own teacher and and you're doing that in your own lust and you're gonna be damned. That being said, I'm going to give all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, which the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. Shalom.